The Kansas State School for the Blind presents When Your New Student Has a Visual Impairment. This video has audio description and subtitles. A high school student holding her cane stands in the lobby of a school next to a green leafy plant. Have you ever wondered what to do when you meet someone with a visual impairment? Have you ever wanted to help but are not sure how? Here are a few important tips to remember when you meet someone with a visual impairment. Tip number one, when we meet in the hallway. A student walks in the hallway sweeping her cane. She is approached by an adult. Hey, I remember you from ASY. Oh, hi. Can you guess who I am? Um, Please don't ask me to guess. Just tell me who you are. A student walks in the hallway sweeping her cane. She is approached by a different adult. Hey, Lulu, it's Miss Levine. How are you? I'm good. How are you, Miss Levine? Good. Thank you. Have a good day. You too. Tip number two. Like other students, I learn by doing things myself. A student walks toward a door, sweeping his cane. An adult rushes to the door before he gets there. Down here, let me get that door for you. Please don't help until I ask for help. A student walks toward a door, sweeping his cane. An adult stands by the wall and waves at him as the student opens the door and walks through. Tip number three, when I walk past you in the hallway, a student walks in the hallway, sweeping her cane, about to pass two students having a conversation. The conversation ends, the girl turns and starts to walk away, realizes the cane is in front of her, then jumps over it. Please don't jump over my cane. A student walks in the hallway, sweeping her cane, about to pass two students having a conversation. The conversation ends, the boy turns and starts to walk away realizes the cane is in front of him and stops to wait as the student with the cane passes by. Tip number four, if other students are expected to do something. A student and a teacher sit at a table. The student gets up and walks away, leaving his chair out. The teacher gets up and pushes the chair in for him. Please have the same expectations for me as you do for other students. Tip number five, anytime I'm working with an adult. In a school hallway, a student with a cane and a teacher look at and discuss the braille on a wall plaque. They are approached by another adult. Hey, Lulu, how are you? I'm doing good, how are you? Great, I'm doing good. awesome. That's good. Hey, I heard you just got a kitten. I did, she's extremely cute. Oh, that's awesome. Hey, I'm on a lesson, so I've gotta to talk to you later, okay? Oh. Hey, what'd you name the kitten? I named her Fluff. Remember that the hallway is also my classroom. Thank you for not distracting me while I am on a lesson. Oh, that's a problem. Like See you later. Bye. In a school hallway, a student with a cane and a teacher look at and discuss the braille on a wall plaque. Another adult walks by, starts to say something to the student, realizes she is on a lesson, and continues to walk down the hallway. Tip number six when giving me directions. You need to grab some hand sanitizer. It's over there. A student sits at a table. She searches on the table with her hands, unable to find the hand sanitizer. Please use descriptive language when giving me directions. You need to grab some hand sanitizer. It's to your right. A student sits at a table. She reaches to the right and finds the hand sanitizer. Tip number seven. My white cane gives me information about the world around me. A student holds his white folding cane. Please remember, this is a white cane, not a stick. Thank you for taking this time to watch this video. If you have further questions about students with visual impairments, please contact your local teacher of students with visual impairments or your Certified Orientation and Mobility Specialist. The logo for the Kansas State School for the Blind. Fade to Black.